What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I have a lot of things, actually a lot, a lot of things to show you and to tell you because a lot of things changed and you maybe realize you never saw this before because it's a new room. Yes, we are now here in the new room, in the new bedroom, office if you will. I'm actually super hyped. We moved in here a couple of days ago and I am already living here. I still have to get used to it, but I like it a lot. Same chair, different house. Yeah, well, things are just very crazy in the moment. Everything is changing and I'm still trying to get used to it. It's this new room here and it's everything about it. Also, it started snowing yesterday and it's cold now and that means we can't skate now, which sucks a lot. You know, there are so many things I could share with you now. This whole new room and house stuff will come in another video. I will make another video about that and show everything and tell you where I live now and yeah, just show you something. That being said, you have to wait for that because today's video is something else. Whoa. I'm now trying to figure out how to use this space here, the desk space and the shelves and everything and how I will set this up so it looks cool in the videos and today we are just going to hang out. I'm going to answer some questions but the main question of the day is how to afford your dream camera. So let's get this. Yeah, as you saw, that was the room. I still have to figure it out how I would like to have it, but definitely it should be something where I can be able to create because I'm just like hyped now to create in here in film videos. And before we start our conversation about camera gear and that stuff, I would like to fly this thing for a second. This is a $10 cheapest drone ever. better do something else. <laughs> so I need to say it feels great to film the first video here and this setup here, the desk setup. Till now I really like it when it comes to light source I just have this window light but it's so soft and so like I love window light. I always use it also in the other room even though there wasn't that much of it that, that good but here it's really like a soft light source. Um, the main topic of this video is answering questions. One specific question which is how to afford camera gear. The thing is I actually get this exact question quite often because people always seem to see what I have and um, if I make videos about camera gear and then I often get questions like how do you afford all the gear and how did you buy all these cameras and everything you own because we gotta be honest this is a expensive hobby the same with skateboarding so I thought I should sit down today and talk about how to afford camera gear. First thing I would not like to make this too long now but I think, me personally, I do not own that much camera gear. It might seem stupid for a few of you, but I actually own one camera. I own the VX that I bought with my brother, which is still a great camera for skateboarding. And I have the computer, of course, but that's almost it. I have this vintage camera, which is not really a camera, but I have my one camera and I have the microphone that I reviewed, and that's pretty much everything. I have this one lens and the camera. For two years now, I think a little more than two years and I always only use that to create and create everything with it because as you might know I'm not a gear fanatic, I don't like looking at gear the whole day and you know just buying, 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 that's not my thing. I would like to do everything as minimal as I can. You always get comments like yeah must be nice being you and having this. I did not get all this camera gear and I just found it on the streets. I mean, new house, but this tradition keeps going on. Hello? Doesn't matter if we are in another room now, it's, it's the same thing. But as I said, for those of you that think I didn't buy this camera gear myself, that's wrong. Because I bought almost everything of this from my own money and... Okay, I just realized I talked for almost 10 minutes now in a camera that didn't work. Because this can only record for 10 minutes and... So, let's do this one more time. 
First up, the hardest thing is always to get into something to get it started and that means to buy your first camera, to buy something that you can start doing this and start creating. For me that was, I think three years ago, I bought this Nikon camera and I saved up money because I worked in summer, like I did this year too. And I worked and I saved up money and bought this camera because I wanted to have something to start doing this. So I bought this camera which I'm still using and then once you have something to create you can start developing your skills and start creating. I started going out there and just creating and trying to give my best. Then slowly I started developing my skills and got better and at some point you notice you can actually make money from this creative craft which is awesome. Because I think if you take skateboarding you can't it's very hard to make money and you always need boards, boards, you shred boards. Here's how you can afford camera gear if you're really willing to put the work into it and to do something for it. You just need to get this, as I said, the first camera or this first thing, that's the hardest thing. Maybe work for your parents, maybe work for somebody else, work for somebody or do something to get money and I mean it's Christmas in a few days, maybe your parents are kind enough to give you a camera so you can start doing this but you need the first thing as I said. I slowly got into the commercial side of this and started finding out about that. You should know I do not so much for money but I started doing that. People will ask you, yeah, can you do a video for me? I will pay you that, that. I started creating, I started getting better and people hit me up said like, I, I saw this video on YouTube that you created and I really liked it. Don't you can make something similar of this festival or whatever and we will pay you something. So I said, yeah, of course I would like to do that. I started doing some stuff. I mean, it's always hard to get out there, to get your creative voice out there and to make yourself a name in this world. I still haven't reached anything, I think. I made a couple of things, earned some money, but it was enough to buy this camera, it was enough to buy this microphone and this computer. And that's how I think you can afford this, because I just get pissed when people come at me and comment or tell me, um, yeah, it must be nice having all the camera gear like you do, and I can't afford this, so I can't create. And I talked about this whole thing a few times now and I don't want to make this the main topic of this channel but I think it's something that is very important because people do not realize anymore that you can make or start doing this from scratch with nothing because I think that it's important to know these things especially for people in my age because if you're like me 17 years old it's hard to buy stuff because you earn no money and they should know that they can't go out there and just buy everything they want. Maybe someone that is working can do that. So you have to figure out another way to do this. And I found out the best thing to do this is make, of course, commercial stuff if you want more gear. Also, do not expect too much at the beginning. I worked a couple of times for free. I actually made a lot of films, photos for people for free. As I said, I do not make so much commercial stuff. But it all kind of comes together and at some point it gets more and more and you are more and before you realize it you can buy the camera gear that you always wanted. Ah, that's actually a heavy conversation here, I need some water. Water tastes the same in a new house, interesting. Yes, that was my opinion on how to afford camera gear, you can work your way up and buy more then and do more. It always comes together, you do more, you can buy more. And I would say don't just pick up a camera and go out there and try to make money, try to develop your skills first and then the good part can come but first you gotta grind through it and you gotta do something to develop your skills because otherwise you will not make good and in the long term that will speak for itself and you will find your way as a creator and this is going too far now. This was it for the day guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was interesting for some of you that would like to do something like this and buy cameras. I hope this helped you if you have any further questions on the commercial side of this craft here. Just let me know it below or DM me so I can answer them in other videos. Yeah, I'm just hyped in general now for everything that is going on here. It's a crazy change in my life but I'm glad to share it with you and I'm glad to be here now and I hope you still like the channel. So. If you do not already subscribe, I would highly recommend go down there and subscribe. Please give this video a like if you liked it and I will hopefully see you then in the next video here. Bye, peace out. This is the Hannes special.